Welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. And a quick announcement before we start this video. I just uh, wanted to let everyone know that we are on our way to 800 subscribers and once I get there we are going to do a live stream, a special one that is art related and I'm going to draw your Final Fantasy XIV characters or your OCs, whatever. I'm going to do some drawings for you guys so we are getting there steadily. Once we hit 800 that's going to be a thing so please share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Well, I'll be Berlin in the flesh. A pleasure to see you again. Wait, is this what they call serendipity? It is, isn't it? That settles it. You've got to help me find the inspector. Claw, I was hoping you would silently agree. <laughs> That's all I ever do. So I've been trying to calculate the trajectory the inspector took when he was catapulted into the sky again. I've triple-checked my figures and concluded he must have landed somewhere here in Ishgard. Unfortunately, the investigation hasn't been proceeding as smoothly as I had hoped. But now that you're here, we're sure to make some progress. Come, let's speak with the merchants and see if anyone hasn't had dealings with a gentlemanly Highlander. A gentlemanly Highlander, you say? My apologies, but I cannot say I have d had dealings with a man as you describe. Can't miss him. He is the most gentlemanly. He's such a gentleman. He's so, so generous. Good day to you, madam. I, oh, you are looking for someone. A gentlemanly Highlander. Hmm. I know not this man of whom you speak, but mayhap Mistress Elais does. She is well ac acquainted with rather a lot of merchants and noblemen. I sold my fair share of goods to Highlander adventurers, aye, but I do not describe such clients as particularly gentlemanly, I'm afraid. As ever, a warm welcome to you, miss. How may I be of service? Hmm. A gentlemanly Highlander, you say? Now that I think of it, I have heard tell of a foreigner who may be the man whom you seek. Huh. Begging, begging your pardons, miss, but did you say you know Inspector Hildebrand? An acquaintance of yours, I presume. I do not know his name, only that he is here by invitation of Lord Edmund, or so it is rumored. Surely, as a word of house for Tom, it would be a trifling matter to go and ask after him at the manor. Core, I knew it was serendipity to Fort Hart Manor. How serendipitous is this? Well met, Mistress Lynn. Do you require assistance? Aye, it is as you say. At this time, Lord Edmont is entertaining a foreign guest. Huzzah! We found the inspector! If I am not mistaken, the meeting should be ending shortly. If you like, you may retire to the gazebo and wait for our guests to depart. A gazebo? Aren't those dangerous? Then again, you seem a responsible sort. Not like to let a wild gazebo run amok. Very well. We humbly accept your offer. <laughs> And if it wakes up, I'll have you there to protect me. I love that she falls asleep randomly all the time. That must be Inspector Hildebrand. I cannot well imagine how arduous your journey must have been. Truth be told, I found the brisk hearth and air be rather, to be rather invigorating. It stimulates body and mind both, a welcome benefit when one must discuss matters of commerce. I dare say we would not have accomplished so much otherwise. There you are, Inspector. I've been looking all over for you. <gasps> but no! <laughs> I say, who do I see before me? 
Not one, but two of my beloved son's faithful companions. Lord Godbert! But, but I thought... Hildi? It is God. This is the first I've heard of it. Aha! I found you at last, heretic! Who's this guy? Blandy. Yes, you, the hulking brute with a mad gleam in his eye. Your brazen heresy is plain for all to see. Surrender yourself to the Inquisition at once. I beg your pardon. This man is an olden merchant here at the behest of House Fortop. Such baseless accusations will not be tolerated. Uh, a guest of House Fortop? Then, then he could have possibly... Though there were those two wards that... But they were acquitted of all charges in a trial by combat. And if he demands the right to, then I would personally have to. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's squat. A thousand apologies, good sir. I spoke out of turn. I am seer, and as you may have guessed, I am an inquisitor who has been charged with investigating reports of a rather suspicious, possibly heretical individual. Oh, a heretic, you say? One who bears a passing resemblance to me. I, a man rather muscular, wearing dark garments and acquitting himself in a somewhat gentlemanly fashion, as some might say. This heretic sounds like the spitting image of Inspector Hildebrand. Could he be a fan? Say again, you are acquainted with such a man. I see. And the man you are looking for is Lord Godbert's son. Who? It would seem that our investigations may be connected. So, I put you to a proposal. The first reported sightings of the heretic I am tracking came from Falcon's Nest. Mayhap we should journey there together. It is, after all, possible that we are seeking the self-same individual. If so, and if he is innocent, it would be for the best if you were present when I apprehend him, that we might resolve this matter without incident. Well, at least he's being reasonable. I mean, a lot of these other Inquisitors we've met have not been so. I say we go with him, Burr. This looks to be our best lead yet. Then I shall accompany you all. It has been far too long since I laid eyes on my beloved son. And if there's a chance we might be reunited, I should be glad to seize it. Then it is settled. We shall leave for Falcons just at once. <laughs> Where's your coat? Mistress Lynn, are these your traveling companions? Uh, yes. That's one word for them. This mysterious muscular vagabond. Ah, yes. A patrol sighted him lurking near the dusk vigil. Thinking he might be a lost traveler, they called out to him, but rather than approach, he fled. Quite frankly, I am surprised you bothered to come all this way. That sighting barely warranted a mention in my report. Aha! The unmistakable scent of heresy. Oh, so now we see why he's really here. Ah, terribly sorry. Old habit I picked up from my mentor. I know. I know. I will not rush to judgment as before. Still, much as I hope you find your missing inspector, I must confess some small desire that we instead unearth a lingering pocket of heresy. Of late, there have been virtually no confirmed instances of heretical misdeeds. It has gotten so bad that some are speculating our funding may be reduced. Or, worse, that the Inquisition's operations might come under review. That is why, alone as my witness, I will find and bring a heretic to justice and prove that our order still has value in these uncertain times. Yes, yes, I understand you have your reasons, but whether or not this vagabond knows a heretic remains to be seen. Still, if you are set upon your course, you might begin your search near the Dusk Vigil. An excellent suggestion, Sir Redwall. Should we succeed in our endeavor, rest assured that you will share in the glory. <laughs> He's just like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the hunt continues. Onward to the Dusk Vigil. I am told that region is especially cold, so do not forget to dress appropriately for the weather. Mm -hmm. 
Fury, take me, it's freezing. Bah, this is a waste of time. No living thing could survive in this god's forsaken wasteland. <laughs> Over there, look! Something's coming from the vigil. Inspector! Inspector, is that you? <gasps> Whoa! It's Amber. As I live and breathe, of all the places to be reunited with Master Zamba and Brand's compatriots. How fare you all this evening? Hark! A heretic raised from the dead by his brother's unholy magics. <laughs> He's not a heretic. He's one of the gentle dead men. <laughs> I can't. What brings you so far from Ulda, good sir? Well, as you know, ours is a rather lonely existence. So when we heard rumors of an abandoned fortress held by zombies, we were delighted. I was chosen to serve as emissary and set out immediately. Alas, it seems my efforts were for naught. Ah, truly. Every last one dead. That is to say, or er, irrevocably dead? <sighs> If it was necessary, then so be it. Still, after coming all this way, it is more than a little disappointing, you understand. Then... My calculations were wrong. The inspector didn't land in Curthus. Now, now, do not fret so. If it is our overlord you seek, then you are in luck. As the founder of the Gentle Deadman, our fates and our ether are inextricably entwined. In fact, I can feel it calling to me now. Truly, good sir, you can guide us to Inspector Hildebrand. As surely as my rotting nose can lead me to fresh brains. Follow me, my friends. One must remain vigilant for heresy, for it can manifest in myriad ways. Tis a vile, insidious sickness which must needs be burned out ere the infection takes hold. Surely zombification will qualify, yes? Confound it! They've left us behind! <laughs> Who do they think they are commandeering this investigation? and employing a zombie as a bloodhound. It beggars belief. We must regain control of the situation. With me, Burr. Hold a moment, my friends. I must needs concentrate. Master Zombie Brand is indeed nearby, but there is also something else. Mayhap a powerful magic confounding my senses. I can guide you no further. We must needs split up and search the area. Now see here. These wastes are infested with wild beasts and you would have us split up. Burr can handle herself true, and you've clearly no reason to fear death. But what of Mistress Delshu? I take your meaning. My good zombie, Burr, pray see to the lady's protection. Inquisitor Seer, would you care to take the lead? <laughs> Come on, you two. The inspector is out there somewhere. Look, Burr, that's got to be the inspector. The, the Yeti? <laughs> oh. And he's surrounded by just giant fluffy man-shaped gazebos. Nay, my lady, they are not mere gazebos. Note their regal bearing. They are gentlemen gazebos. Fearsome yet fastidious foes who would surely tear me rotting limb from rotting limb. Only Burr can save Master Zombiebrand now. Surely. <laughs> Inspector! Inspector! Can you hear me? We've been looking all over for you.
Oh, but this just won't do. We've got to get you out there before you catch cold. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work. Look at her face. Up, up and at them. Everyone is waiting for you. He's like frozen solid. <sighs> Forgive me. If I pull any harder, my arms are like to tear. Ah, oh, there you are. We heard shouting. Have you perchance found something? Fury take me! Is that my heretic? Confounded, I wanted him alive! Inspector Hildebrand is definitely not a heretic, and he's probably not dead either. He's just... he's just hibernating, like last time. <coughs> Hildy ever was a late riser. Fear not. My wife and I had our ways of waking him. <laughs> Good old Papa. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hildebrand! <laughs> right! This instant! Held him for Maximilian. I don't know what it is. Full name is. Oh my gosh. gonna get a, need another suit. His suit's always ripped up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> oh no. Oof. Was it the Mandeville Meteor Strike or the Mandeville Meteor Drive? Bah, maybe Julian was right. Trying to name everything only leads to needless confusion. One more time, then. Out you go! <gasps> Vivi! <laughs> I guess it's not Vivi, is it? Splendidly suplex, Lord Godbert. Where, where am I? The snowy wastelands of Curthus. And who are these people I see before me? Ah, oh, but of course, who else would venture into inhospitable climes and wake me from slumber sweet but my beloved fans? Why do I feel as though I've stepped through a portal into an alternate reality unbound by the laws of logic? <laughs> She's just like, well, because you did. What is that? A mamet? Where did it come from? He's just still dancing. Oh, that. When my father drove me into the earth, I found it buried beneath the snow. It's A little elephant girl. How adorable. Dash you, please. Note the firm muscular legs, not unlike my own. Tis clearly a lala felon boy. Now that you mention it, I suppose his features are rather masculine. You two cannot possibly be serious. I am the very soul of seriousness, good sir, especially in matters of deduction. This is undoubtedly a young boy who, much like myself, fell into a deep slumber upon being buried beneath the snow. Now then, let us gently wake him and ascertain his identity. <laughs> no. 
There, that ought to do it. GG, GG, G. Well, what is this place? Who, who am I? It would seem that although Father's ungentle ministrations served to restore this young boy to life, they also robbed him of his memory. <laughs> How did I get here? Who am I? Why can I not remember? He's speaking like that SpongeBob meme. <laughs> Do not worry, young man. Everything will be all right. Take it from me. I have lost my memory more times than I can even remember. Then, then can you help me to remember? Hearken to me now, for I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, do hereby swear to solve the mystery of the amnesia cobbledy <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. I'll get started on a batch of Nashu's delights. Ah, effective as your explosive were in the past, I suspect that young Gigi lacks the hearty constitution required to survive such an approach. Gigi? Is that my name? When you woke, you were muttering G G G G. I suspect the phrase may hold some significance for you. So until time, as we learn your real name, I say why not adopt it as a playful moniker? But, but that's just a sound all mammoths make. <sighs> what kind of imbecile goes and names a mammoth G G anyway? G G. I like this name. Thank you, kind sir. But how will this new name help me to remember who I am? Patience, Gigi. This is only the beginning. Next, we will return to the city and see if we cannot find any who know who you are. Come along. Now that I know our overlord is safe and sound, I too must take my leave of you and return to my brothers. I dare say rigor mortis will set in if I remain here any longer. Bound for Thunderlin? Then allow me to accompany you. Julian will give me no end of trouble if I keep her waiting much longer. Though perhaps she will forgive me once I tell her of Hildy's return. This is rather a lot to digest, though you have the look of one accustomed to such happenings. In any case, regardless of Mistress Nushu's protestations, the inspector will not be granted access to the capital until we can confirm that he is not a heretic. You have my word that he will be treated fairly. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Not this creepy person. Fury, take me, that man. Ah, Burr. I suppose you have heard the news, then. That Inspector Hildebrand was cleared of all suspicion and judged to be no more than an eccentric curiosity. If you are looking for him, good luck. I wanted to thank him for his cooperation, but as soon as the Temple Knights released him, he and his assistant ran off to God's nowhere with that mammoth in tow. As for my investigation, in spite of all the twists and turns, I managed to salvage a satisfactory result. As far as the Inquisition is concerned, the suspicious, suspicious vagabond was not more than a zombie, which wandered away from the dusk vigil, sickness which has since been purged. So it would seem that all is right with the world once more, for now. I have no doubt that the inspector will turn up again like a bad gill, and when he does, trouble is sure to follow. What gives you that impression? Seriously. <gasps> I love this these parts. <gasps> C 
see you, Inspector. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.